guys is Magic Land. So in some of the videos, you probably see my two top front teeth are a bit weird. They kind of look like a duck. That's because they are not one, but two teeth are wiggly. So I'm just gonna give you a little info and update on them. So that one that I'm pointing at. Whoa, it's super creepy. Yeah, it looks really, really creepy to me. Maybe to you guys and everybody. But Especially my parents. It's normal. Yeah, but it's normal. So, yeah, we've been waiting for a long time, like like a few months now for it to fall out, but it just wouldn't budge. So I'm trying to pull it out, but you guessed it, would not budge. So the statues have been trying to pull it out for years, months, centuries. I'm just kidding. For a few months and a few weeks now, um, I've been wiggling it, picking at it, like pulling at it, and um, and right before I did this video, I was taking a paper towel and like trying to pull it out, but I guess it wouldn't budge. So for kids who have wiggly teeth just like me, or if you have way more than me, don't be scared. Like if you want to pull it out, which normal for kids to do, because they can't wait. You guys can do fairy. So for some kids of you, um, you don't have to pull it out. Like if it's not ready, then definitely not. Do not pull it out. That can damage your tooth, your gums, and some, and even your mouth if you're lucky. So um, yeah. So if your teeth are really ready to come out, don't be scared. Make a dentist appointment, or just ask your parents to pull it out, or pull it out yourself if you're comfortable with it. Or just be patient and let it fall out. On uh huh. Time. Or be patient and let it fall out on its own, which I've been trying. But the best part is to do, oh, maybe maybe go and see a dentist to pull it out. Or ask your parents. So the strategy yeah. I am trying to do no, is fair. pull it out myself. And I've been trying that for months, centuries, years, weeks, days. I'm kidding. I've been trying it out for a few months now, but you guessed it. So I'm going to show you my two front teeth up closely. I have to get up. My brother would not help it, but to put his feet. Oh, hi, Kevin. Hi. hi. So I'm going to do a little close up of my two front teeth. Don't judge me. Do you look like a duck? I don't think you look like a duck. You look beautiful. Well, yeah, you look beautiful yeah. as ever. Well, like this one looks like a beak of a duck. I'm just saying oh. that. So, a beak of a duck. so yeah. So there's that one. Kevin, stop it. So, sorry, he's into the pinching mode. So here's the first one, look. Ah! <laughs> I'm sucking on it. Okay. So I did the other one. Oh, those are very loose. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so now I'm gonna give you a little wiggle and then it's time to wrap up this video like a burrito. Even though I never had one before. Now we're going to talk about the tooth fairy and what I hope she's going to bring me. So the last other two teeth I lost, which I only lost two, whatever. So um, I only lost two teeth and one, the tooth fairy left me a note and a little LOL stuff. And then last time she left me notepads and toothbrush and some other cool stuff. And what I hope she's going to bring me now is a bit of money, a little note, and a little present like Santa Claus would give you. Tooth Fairy is way more exciting than Santa Claus. Whatever. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you for watching Lots of Magical Land. Please remember to subscribe and like, and please wish me luck on Tooth Fairy bringing me some stuff. And I will too. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate the Tooth Fairy? Stay happy. Be safe and wait for a tooth to fall out.